Welcome ladies and gentlemen to your 8th HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about some new CSS3 selectors. Now the first selector I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the greater than sign. Now the greater than sign pretty much affects the second element where the first element is the parent. So what am I talking about? Well let's go ahead and let me show you guys an example. So if I write something like this where it looks like that pretty much this whatever rule I type after here it's gonna affect any paragraph that has a div as its parent so if we look all of these paragraphs have a div called mommy as their parent so let's go ahead and apply a rule I will go ahead and color this uh, green so now if we go ahead and save this and refresh this page now all of these paragraphs, since they had a div as their parent, get colored green. Now we're saying, okay, well, does that work with a grandparent as well? Because check this out. The div is its parent and the body is its grandparent. So let's go ahead and exchange div for body and see what happens. We go ahead and refresh this and nothing gets affected. That's because the body is not the parent of the paragraph. The body is the grandparent of the paragraph and this symbol right here means only affect the paragraphs where body are the parent. Make sense? Good. So now with that tutorial, or excuse me, not that tutorial, that isn't the end of the tutorial. So now with that rule taken care of, we can move on to the other rule, which is the plus sign. Now the plus sign is another new selector that we got with CSS3, and it pretty much means affect the second element when it immediately follows the first. So that's kind of weird. And another thing is that they must have the same parent. So what the heck am I talking about? Say we have a paragraph that belonged to the class Bucky. Now all of these paragraphs belong to the class Bucky. So I'm just going to go ahead and write Bucky plus paragraph. So this is saying, okay, and what color can I make this? Did I make the last one green? I'll make this one blue. So this is pretty much saying, okay, whenever we have a paragraph that follows another paragraph with the class Bucky, turn it blue. So let's go ahead and save this, refresh it, and see what we get. We see that every paragraph turns blue except for this first paragraph right here. So why did that first paragraph not turn blue? Well, if we look at the rule, it says only apply this rule to paragraphs that immediately follow other paragraphs with the class Bucky. And since nothing was before this first paragraph, that's why it started at the second one because this one follows a paragraph with a class Bucky, this one does too, this one does too, and this one does too. This one, however, follows a div tag, so that's why that isn't affected. And another thing is, whenever we have a rule using this plus selector, they must have the same parent. So we can't have, you know, a paragraph right here and another paragraph right here and expect it to be affected. They must share the same parent, which is the div tag, in this case, mommy. So let me just go ahead and save that. And the last rule I want to talk to you guys about is this little thingy right here. Now I don't even know what it's called. I think it's called a tilde or something. But basically it's very similar to the plus sign except, let me make sure I don't have any extra spaces there. It's very similar to the plus sign. However, it doesn't need to immediately follow it like it did with the plus sign. For example, if we go ahead and we refresh this right here, we see that the same effect is happening. However, if we go ahead and add a span somewhere in the middle here, we just go ahead and add a random span with hello hamster, kind of spelled that wrong, but it doesn't matter for this tutorial. Say we added a span right there. Now if we look, this fourth paragraph right here, it isn't immediately following this third one. There's a span in between. However, if we go ahead and save this, we see that the fourth paragraph is still colored blue. Why is that? Well, even though there's a span in between, this little tilde here said, okay, as long as it follows a paragraph with Bucky, it doesn't need to be immediately following it. There can be some stuff in between. However, if we change this to the plus sign, that's where we can see the difference. Take a look at this here when I refresh it. Now, this fourth paragraph right here turns black and it doesn't get styled because it's no longer immediately following 
this paragraph right here, it's now immediately following the span. So that's the difference between the plus selector and the tilde selector. The tilde selector is the exact same, but it doesn't need to immediately follow what was before it. So that is the three selectors that I wanted to go over. And um, yeah, I guess that's all there is to say. What's the, what's the Forrest Gump saying? And that's all I got to say about that. So any, wow, that's probably the worst Forrest Gump impression I've ever did in my entire life. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.